And while I beg that Florida will always, I hope and pray, continue to make a living on the back, strong back of agriculture, and in the world of tourism as it grows on a yearly basis, there's also a case to be made that the third leg of the stool, which has been missing in Florida, a leg of the stool that has been captured in other states around the country, especially over the last half century, is simply put, a knowledge-based economy. Well, what does that mean? Well, to tell you, I've got to use North Carolina as a good example. Fifty years ago, hard to believe when I say it that way, because the other way is to say half a century, and that just dates most of us in the room, so I won't go near that one. Fifty years ago, North Carolina faced an economic crisis. Textiles and tobacco were in trouble. Even tobacco 50 years ago was already beginning to find itself in the middle of difficulties. I don't think difficulties they ever envisioned, but the beginnings of problems with the tobacco industry. Textiles were being taken right out from under the state of North Carolina. Not other, other, uh, only other states around the country, but international markets were opening in the world of textical, uh, textiles. Furniture was beginning to flag, again, based on sheer competition from other states and other countries around the world. They had a tough decision to make. How were they going to deal with an economy that was on its way out and in many ways becoming a dinosaur right under their nose and nothing to take its place? And 50 years ago, the state of North Carolina made a conscious decision, and that was to create the beginnings of a knowledge-based economy to retool their education system, and I mean everything from kindergarten through higher education, to better align what they were doing educationally, to create a talent supply chain, to create more baccalaureate degrees, more master's degrees, to better marry what they were doing in research at Duke University, NC State, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, with what the needs of business and industry were and thus was the beginning of what has become in many ways a model of creation of a knowledge-based economy. Most of us know it as now the research triangle. And the triangle was made up of those three institutions of higher education, Duke, North Carolina, and NC State. And an amazing partnership with the world of business and industry and economic development. Now, my friends in North Carolina, and I've got a lot of them, will tell you, they are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. There's many things that they've struggled with and struggled to learn over that 50-year period of time. And that model has been reproduced in other states around the country during that same 50-year period of time. But it still stands, with all of its flaws and all of its warts, as an incredible model of opportunity and an incredible model of choice that the people of that state made, which transformed North Carolina forevermore.